Okay, this is going to be a presentation by Eric, right? Hey there, my name is Miles, and this is my Miles Miles test plate ENGT 111 project. Um, my name is Miles Bags. There's my phone number, it's my personal. You can reach me anytime. Uh, why I chose a Wabo test plate? Um, I It was pretty simple, really. I've been you know, welding at Amtec for the past two years. And uh, a good portion, like a good few quarters of that has been spent welding on these um, right over here. Currently, I'm doing my 7018 um, shop uh, weld test. And uh, it's essentially a big part of the fabrication degree. Um, the, the you know whole thing is the degree says that you can pass classes. The certifications say that you can actually weld. Uh, and that's what inspired me uh, to, you know, choose this as my 3D modeling project. Here's my initial sketches. Uh, I was uh, incorrect on a few things, right? This three and three eighths over there should really just be three inches. Um, or really it's four inches, actually, now that I think of it. And there should, uh, and then I was wrong here at that angle uh it says 30 degrees but it should be 45. um other than that it was you know a pretty simple you know throw down on paper i did freehand it it's a little obvious i should have you know used a ruler but it came out pretty good uh, so then i started building the part in autocad i started with this uh quarter by one inch box using the polyline feature and then continuing with the polyline feature, I created these two, you know, one inch plates. There are four inches on the bottom, three inches on the top uh, with that 45 degree angle coming there. And then I, you know, you continue to use polyline um, to create both my top front and side views to, you know, bring everything together. Uh, to finish the AutoCAD drawing, I added dimensions as seen over here, and then I added hidden lines, and then I turned it into the paper form and added a blue border, uh, just so it like cleans up nice, looks pretty. In conclusion, uh, it was a it was a really fun project. I learned a ton about three D mo uh, modeling using you know Katia, SolidWorks, AutoCAD. Um, here we can see my uh, 3D models in Katia. I had the mild steel uh, selected here for you know my inertia and material purposes. This is just a blank slate. Um, well plate. They came out pretty good. Uh, I've learned a ton about you know making layers, setting dimensions. Uh, I don't know. It's been a good, good, uh, good class. I've enjoyed it. Clocked about 80 hours in this class, and then I spent about seven on this project. Again, my name is Miles Raymond Bags. Thank you. All right, Miles, that was great. Thank you for doing that. Did I have any questions for Miles or anything comments uh, for him? I guess I, since he's uh, not here, maybe if he wanted any comments for him, anybody have any comments? He mentioned something about his sketch not being that great. This is a great sketch. The whole idea of the sketch is to do it quick. So it doesn't have to be pretty. It's just got to be enough to get a concept of what it is we're trying to draw and what we're trying to make. So this is more than sufficient. It's easy for me to see. And it, the dimensions change all the time. We just have rough ideas. It's also referred to as a napkin sketch. So this is a perfect example of just taking something from scratch paper, sketching it out, and actually bringing it to a 3D world. So, Miles, thank you very much for your presentation. Again, did anybody have any comments before I stop the recording? Miles, thanks, thanks a lot. lot.